All I have ever done is look out for her. More fool me, eh? She's a total user and I was too stupid to spot it. Ah, the joys of Debbie Dingle. This should help. It's Japanese. It's supposed to be the best in the world. Thanks. I think I need it. No, thank you. <clears throat> for the lift. Coming a bit of a habit, isn't it? Guess you'll be needing a new driver now that your butler's done one. Might do. Why? Are you interested? Why not? Could do with the work. Another? <sighs> Don't mind if I do. So, um, what's the story with you and Debbie? I know you guys have got a bit of history. And then some. A devious little cow. I've always had her back, and where did it get me? But I'm telling you now, it's game over. I'm guessing it didn't end well, then. Ended with me in hospital. Pete, he was... Pete's my older brother. He was supposed to be marrying her, but me and Debbie, we... Well, let's just say she managed to ruin two lives in one go. Like mother, like daughter. I've had her as well. They're as bad as each other. Yeah, I'll drink to that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Moses. It's just a shame Charity's his mum. I mean, she'll always be there, always be part of my life. Yeah, I know how you feel. Anyway, about the job. Consider it yours. Hmm? One more for the road? I don't think so. Graham, you need to talk in private. Doesn't look good. Where have you been? We've been waiting. Punching me. Nice touch, Kane. You were the one banging on about making it look real. How did it go, Russ? Not good. I thought I was in there, but. But what? His sidekick showed up. Graham made it perfectly clear that I wasn't welcome. Until now. Turns out his boss had other plans. You are now looking at Joe Tate's new driver. Get in! Oi, don't get too cocky. Joe Tate ain't stupid. Yeah, but he's lonely and desperate for a mate, and I am more than happy to oblige. Look, don't worry. His Highness is gonna get what's coming to him, okay? We're gonna film the funeral. I know it's not the same as you being there, but you know. It was Belle's idea. She's been brilliant. I mean, I don't know how I would have coped without her. She has no idea how much I love her. She found out the truth, though, about the crash. That'd be it. Over. Gone. That's why I need to get Jerry's phone and wipe that stupid message. And that just leaves you, doesn't it? You do understand, don't you? I can't lose it, Bex. I just can't. <laughs> 